Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the President of the 76th Session of the United Nations General Assembly, Abdullah Shahid, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty the King welcomed the guest and congratulated him on assuming the presidency of the current session, wishing him success in serving global peace and stability. His Majesty reviewed with the guest the aspects of cooperation between Bahrain and the United Nations in various development and old fields affirming the Kingdom's keenness on bolstering cooperation and building effective partnerships with the UN and its agencies, supporting developmental programs to achieve sustainable development goals and bolstering relations with the Maldives. His Majesty noted the Kingdom's qualified qualitative achievements and the development in all domains and sectors for the prosperity of the Kingdom and its people and the efforts of Bahraini women in the National March, their participation in politics and assumption of high positions, whether in the Kingdom or regionally and internationally. He affirmed the Kingdom's civilizational and historic role and its leading initiatives in intensifying communication and cooperation with various civilizations and cultures and enhancing the values of peace, humanitarian coexistence and their effective contributions to supporting refugees and the afflicted. He added that all who live in Bahrain of various nationalities and religions receive its respect, which stems from the character of its people. During the meeting, regional and international development of common interests were discussed. And His Majesty the King asserted Bahrain's support to the UN's vital role in laying the foundations for security and stability, strengthening peace efforts in various regions of the world, and finding solutions to international challenges and issues for the benefit and progress of mankind. For his part, Abdullah Shah had expressed his pleasure with visiting Bahrain and gratitude to His Majesty for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, hailing the Kingdom's comprehensive development plan and its efforts to achieve the UN's objectives. He noted the deep-rooted cooperation between Bahrain and the UN agencies and organs based in the Kingdom and the brotherly relations between Bahrain and the Maldives, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qudaybiya Palace. To mark the International Day of Education, the Cabinet commended the Kingdom's education professionals, thanking them for their efforts to best continue the education process in exceptional circumstances throughout the COVID-19 global pandemic. The Cabinet encouraged the education sector workforce to continue supporting government programs that will further develop the national education sector and contribute towards the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. The Cabinet activated a unified system for the internal auditing of government agencies. The new system ensures greater oversight over the agencies and is based on specific audit frameworks. The Cabinet also adopted the unified guide for the internal auditing of government agencies. The guide is a project of the government priority framework with the aim of further strengthening the government's internal audit capacity, assisting internal auditors adhering to the best professional auditing standards and practices, and strengthening public sector's internal audit framework. In this regard, His Royal Highness directed the activation of the Consolidated System for Internal Auditing and for the guide to be circulated across all ministries and government agencies. The Cabinet condemned and denounced the Houthi attacks on civilian targets in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates affirming that they violate international law. The Cabinet expressed condolences to the victims, the families and wished those injured a speedy recovery. The Cabinet affirmed Bahrain's support for Saudi Arabia and the UAE as they respond to the terror attacks and implement measures to protect their national security. In this regard, the Cabinet welcomed the statement by the United Nations Security Council and the League of Arab States that condemned the attack on the United Arab Emirates.
The Cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting and approved uh, the following. A memorandum by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding measures aimed at further strengthening investment and commercial activity. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to two proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance regarding the complete electronic transformation of government revenues and payment services to efficiently provide 24-hour services to citizens and residents without the need for personal attendance at ministry buildings. A memorandum by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding the electronic transformation of 22 services within the Ministry's industrial development sector. A memorandum by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs regarding the latest developments in the installation of smart meters and the completion of 100% of installations for citizens in their first residence with open accounts. These smart meters will ensure accuracy and efficiency in calculating consumption. The Cabinet then took note of ministerial reports regarding the topics that were discussed during the meeting between Bahrain's delegation headed by the Minister of Finance and National Economy with officials of the Hellenic Republic and the follow-up of the implementation of Cabinet decisions from January 2021 to January 2022. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of National Oil and Gas Authority, Noga, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the trade unions of Noga. His Highness highlighted the importance of unions' role in supporting workers' rights and uh, driving their professional development, as well as raising union awareness and increasing social dialogue. He stated that the Noga is keen on supporting heads of associations in settling all labor aspects. He also noted that this meeting embodies Noga's role in building solid relations between employees and the board of directors to increase trust between the two parties. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that all are working to achieve His Majesty's visions and aspirations in the oil and gas sector. His Highness affirmed keenness on strengthening the company's governance system and giving them freedom and independence in making decisions, asserting his keenness on providing a direct and continuous means for open and transparent communication, which affirms the keenness on continuing development and providing a secure and comfortable space Space for open dialogue and sharing concerns and aspirations. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the efforts of the company's directors, emphasizing the importance of dialogue, consultation and cooperation between the two sides. He noted the significant role of unions on leading this vital transformation successfully, affirming keenness on supporting them to achieve a further excellence. His Highness announced the creation of an integrated policy across the company's group of companies to ensure that workers are supported and heard and their concerns are truly, professionally and quickly resolved to ensure that practices in all fields are ethical. His Highness recommended finding a mechanism of codifying a system of measures and guarantees to protect uh, laborers' rights. He also directed to submit developmental suggestions that aim to continue the improvement of the two vital sectors and put forward various ideas. <laughs> وهو الحقيقة سعيد اليوم أن يعني نلتقي سوا ونناقش المواضيع اللي إحنا ودنا الحقيقة نرتقي بها في هذا القطاع لأن اليوم إحنا مثل ما قلت لكم في البداية إحنا سوا وإن شاء الله إن إحنا ننجح كلنا سوا اليوم أنتوا تعرفون إن إحنا نمر في نقلة نوعية إن شاء الله وكل ثقة إن هذه النقلة بتكون الأولى من نوعها إحنا أول دولة في المنطقة نستخرج النفط ومن أوائل الدول اللي تقدمنا وخضنا تجارب كثيرة والحمد لله مملكة البحرين دائما ما كانت سباقة واليوم بعد أن إحنا لازم نطور ولازم أن إحنا يعني نرتقي ونواكب العالم لأن صارت متغيرات كثيرة وتطلب إلى أن إحنا نتسارع ويا هالتغيرات أنتوا تعرفون طبعا أنا بعد توجيهات سيدي سمو ولي العهد رئيس الوزراء كرئيس اللجنة العليا للطاقة يعني تشاركنا في الرؤية المستقبلية لهذا القطاع أتذكر أول ما استلمت هذه المسؤولية أول سؤال سألته لي عن النقابات سألت عن العمال سألت عن موظفين الشركة وعن أحوالهم وعن كيف نحن نبني هذه الجسور 
فانتم كغابه عمال توصون اللي عندكم ان جميع الافكار جميع الامور جميع التبليغات توصل مكتبي مباشره وهذا اللينك المباشر اللي بيني وبينكم راح يكون لان هذا فيه الصالح واحنا اليوم ما نتردد من اي شيء احنا اليوم نبي نبرز نبي نكتشف اولا وين المشكله نبي نبرزها ونبي نحلها فنهجنا اليوم مختلف وروحنا اليوم فيها اندفاع اتطلب انتم روحكم واندفاعكم يصير معانا يكفي ثقه سيد حضره صاحب الجلاله على طول عمره في اختياري كمسؤول لهذا القطاع لكن انا اليوم احس المسؤوليه احس بالمسؤوليه فابي اشرك قد ما اقدر من المسؤولين معاي ان احنا نتشارك هذه الافكار واحنا نحقق ان شاء الله الحلم باذن الله لازم يعرفون الموظفين ان صوتهم مسموع وان احنا نشوفهم وان احنا نثق فيهم وان احنا نبيهم اصلا لانهم خامه نادره يعني مريت انا واخذت بما فيه الكفايه من الايجاز عن اعمالهم عن انجازاتهم اكتشفت ان الخامه اللي عندنا الحقيقه احنا محظوظين بها The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Bahraini sport, which contributed to making numerous accomplishments on the global level. His Highness congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness on the qualification of the national handball team in the World Cup for the sixth time. His Highness affirmed that the qualification is thanks to the care of His Majesty the King to the sports march of the kingdom and his keenness to provide his unlimited support in order to enhance the status of the kingdom globally. His Highness praised the role of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee for his contributions to making numerous accomplishments and his support to the national team. His Highness also praised the efforts of the Chairman of Bahrain Federation for Handball, Ali Ishaqi, for preparing the suitable environment for the team. His Highness also praised the role of the technical and administrative teams for this accomplishment. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the achievements of Cordoba team after their win against Jerez de Brotivo. To know. His Highness affirmed a freedness to continue supporting the team and praised the high spirits of the players and their eagerness to make more achievements. His Highness wished the team further success in the upcoming matches. The first uh, deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the president of Bahrain Sports for All Federation, Isa Mohammed Abdel Rahim. His Highness directed the federation to preparing for holding the sixth edition of Bahrain Sports Day activities, which is scheduled to take place in February and coordinate with all relevant government authorities, as well as inviting the government and private sectors to participate in the national sports form with the need to implement COVID-19 precautionary measures. His Highness expressed his pride in Bahrain Sports Day for its role in promoting sports for all and raising a societal awareness in, on its importance. He appointed the President of the Federation to chair the Supreme Organizing Committee of Bahrain Sports Day, which includes representatives from sports, government and private entities. For his part, the President of the Federation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his trust in the Federation to prepare for Bahrain Sports Day, affirming that it will work work hard to achieve His Highness's directives. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Zainal, met with the President of the 76th Session of the United Nations General Assembly, Abdullah Shahid. She congratulated him on assuming the presidency of the current session of the UNGA, stressing that Bahrain has always been keen to supporting UN's efforts. The Speaker affirmed that Bahrain supports efforts for peace, stability and prosperity in the region and the world under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Zainal referred to the government's initiatives headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister 
Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in promoting the values of tolerance, coexistence and respect and the importance of integrating international stances to combat terrorism, violence and extremism. The UN's General Assembly President hailed Bahrain's efforts internationally and the opportunities it offers to achieve sustainable development goals by supporting international trends such as the protection of human rights, the fight against terrorism and the support of efforts for peace, security and stability in the region and the world. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, marked the International Day of Education that is celebrated every year on January 24th. The Minister stated that the Ministry's success in ensuring the sustainability of distant learning, despite the pandemic taking into consideration the directives of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus by providing educational online content, activities, applications through the educational portal. He affirmed that the educational sector's achievements uh, were a result of the royal patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the follow up of the Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa. Naimi expressed pride in providing appropriate education to students with special needs with all the support devices that help them keep up with lessons taken by their ordinary peers. The Minister referred to the Ministry's efforts the, that resulted in reducing the literacy rate to less than 2.4% according to the annual reports issued by UNESCO under the title Education for All. He mentioned uh, that the Kingdom is in the process of working on digital literacy, which has become one of the primary sustainable development goals. And Naimi announced the construction plan that includes the establishment of 18 new schools and 24 academic buildings in various governance, with the aim of raising the capacity of schools in various educational levels. The Secretary General of the Higher Education Council and Deputy Chairwoman of its Board of Trustees, Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, affirmed that the education process is witnessing a broad development thanks to the care of His Majesty the King and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She noted that education is one of the most important pillars to achieve sustainable development and the Economic Vision 2030. Marking International Day of Education, Dr. Sheikh Rana expressed or stressed that this year's theme, Changing Course, Trans Transforming education comes in line with HEC's objectives. She highlighted the Council's most important achievements in 2021, including its ability to transform higher education through the development of qualitative academic programs in accordance with the requirements of the labour market. She added that the HEC has, was also keen on strengthening relations with various countries and enhancing or exchanging expertise and programs that contribute to the development of higher education by holding meetings with ambassadors and representatives of other friendly countries. The Secretary General noted that Bahrain dealt with the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic with awareness, efficiency and competence thanks to the efforts made by Team Bahrain headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister, Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Islam Khalaf paid an inspection visit to development and service projects in the Southern Governorate and affirmed his keenness to continue the development efforts across the Kingdom. He also affirmed the government's keenness to listen to the people of Bahrain and meet their needs. He praised the efforts of the Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa in this regard. The Minister affirmed that the projects are ongoing and establishing the Zayed walkway incurs in currently in development. Bahrain strongly condemned and denounced the attacks launched by the terrorist Houthi militia with ballistic missiles and drones against Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The Houthi militia attacked Saudi Arabia and the UAE in a vicious terrorist aggression targeting the lives of innocent people and civil objects and in contra uh, contravention of international humanitarian law and other international laws. The Foreign Affairs Ministry affirmed the support of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the UAE in all the measures they take to maintain their security and stability and ensure the safety of citizens and residents on their territories. It also praised the vigilance and efficiency of the coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen and the UAE air defense as forces calling on the international community to take firm measures to stop the Houthi aggression in the region. 
The housing ministry continued distributing units to citizens in Salman town. This came in an implementation of the royal directives of distributing 40,000 housing units and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units. The ministry continued to deliver the keys for applicants according to the prepared list and the delivery process was carried out with the necessary precautionary measures. It said that these projects are distinguished by their locations and facilities and confirmed the constant keenness to provide housing units and the best services to citizens to meet their aspirations.